So this is a photo that I took on my four day trip to Los Angeles, but I think it could look better. So I thought I'd challenge myself to try and make this average photo look great. I don't know why I like this photo. I think it's just pretty cool. The fact that you get to see the entire of downtown Los Angeles and you also get some greenery. You can kind of see a little bit of Beverly Hills area, I think it is. I don't know. Don't judge my geography. Maybe let's reframe this. We do have this really nice platform here. Maybe I can have that as a focal point on the lower third. I want the focus to be mainly on LA, but with a little bit of like, you know, like a little Easter egg. Some, I want something here. I haven't figured it out yet, but we'll figure it out. Me thinking through this, I thought to myself, okay, well, I think it would just be great to just get rid of everybody. First thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to take it into Adobe Photoshop. Let's do this. So what I'm doing is I'm using the content aware fill tool you can actually select what areas you want it to gather and you can see real time how it's going to look. And I think that's amazing. I mean, look at that. Like nobody was there. I'm just going to get the clone stamp tool here and just move this foliage a little bit to the right. Look at that before, after. <laughs> What people? That wasn't too difficult. Like, I think a few years ago, that process would have been much harder. Now, this part <laughs> is going to be a, a little bit more complicated. By getting rid of those girls beforehand, <laughs> I'm missing a lot of this telescope. So, what do I do here? Hmm. Let's just take this section here. Just drag it to the end. There I have my corner. I mean, I don't really know what I'm doing. <laughs> it's sort of working. So apart from the very messy corner that I've managed to reconstruct, I'm going to try and just fix these things here. Okay, cool. So we went from this to this. Basically, now we have a clear canvas where we can pretty much do whatever we want. I'm trying to think of what we can add here. Okay, so I'm on Pinterest now and I just, I'm really just going to see what comes up. <gasps> Maybe like a little greenhouse. Just saw this little greenhouse. So, okay, I've thought long and hard about this. I thought about adding a fountain. So basically I kind of masked it out and put in there and I was like, mm, that's kind of boring. Then um, telescope and I thought, mm, that's kind of boring. And I also threw this in here, but I think this one's probably going to stay. Then I thought of a statue and I thought, let's put a statue right here. So what I did is I found one and what I'm going to do is put this in Cinema 4D, try and get the right plane reference, etc. Kind of excited, never done this before, so let's go. Now we're in Cinema 4D and I have the model of Atlas looking really hmm. expressionless. You can also use Blender, which is free. I don't even know why I'm using Cinema 4D because I like never use it. I have no idea what I'm doing, if you haven't noticed. So if you're a 3D artist, please don't roast me in the comments. <laughs> What I'm gonna do is actually create a plane to rotate this 90 degrees, create a material, and I'm gonna make this material the image. And so if I drag that in there, it's upside down. Boom. So what I'm gonna do is create another plane, and I'm going to drag this plane as if it is the ground. I've gone to this website called Ambient, and they have a whole bunch of materials. And I found some really cool ones. The first one I'm gonna try is this kind of rusty one, which looks pretty cool. Actually, what I need to do first is create a, a HDR. What HDR is, it's a high dynamic range image. And what it does is if I put it as a sky, it just gives um, like a global light to this object. I'm gonna add this photo as a plane. So these bits here cast a reflection on the actual statue. I feel like a lot of light is coming from that side, so what I might do if I might add a light. Uh, before you guys roast me, I just realized that I put the light at the wrong location. I thought the sun was coming from the top left and actually it's coming from the top right. Let's just export this, see what it looks like. Now we're in Photoshop, we're gonna import our image. I think our light really does match. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Maybe what I can do, mask out this bit of foliage and put it above. So it kind of looks like the foliage is covering him. All I gotta do now is just add some shadows, copy him, make him completely black. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna just change the perspective as we go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. I think that's pretty good. I think that's a lot. I don't know why I didn't just look at the shadow of the trees, but we move. Oh, and I was gonna add this bad boy. 
look at me using tools that I barely ever use. Okay, and just like that, we have our new image. I will know what you're thinking, it looks really flat. Well, that's because it needs some color grading. So what I'm gonna do is apply one of my presets. That's a good starting point, I guess. Uh, what I just need to do now is I wanna make an emphasis on this guy. So I'm gonna grab one of the radial gradients and I'm gonna invert it. What happens here is that now the focus shifts from kind of everything to now a little bit on this guy and then what I can do as well is I can add a linear gradient from here I'm gonna add some color here it makes it look like there was a sun in the corner he's too sharp so if I just brush around my man here in the sharpness rather than increase it to draw attention to it I can decrease it slightly so that it's not overly sharp but with that being said there you have it I have turned the photo that looked like this into something that looks like this <laughs> a little bit intense a little bit crazy a little bit random i don't really know if this is even good it was definitely some way to challenge myself to kind of fix things but yeah if you enjoyed this video at all if, even if you don't like the photo but you found the video interesting let me know below with that being said i'll see you guys in the next video peace